I'm Rick Bennett, a 20-year-old thrill seeker from Bedfordshire. You're about to join me as I embark on one of the toughest challenges the UK has to offer. It's going to be a test of physical strength and mental endurance as I pit my wits against some of the toughest terrain in the British Isles. Thankfully, I won't be alone. Joining me will be fellow thrill seeker Josh O'Dell. A Bora culturalist by trade, Josh has a vast understanding of the outdoor world. His wilderness survival knowledge and skill set is second to none, making him the kind of guy who's handy to have around when it all goes wrong on the trail. Together, we're going to push ourselves harder, faster and further than ever before through sleep deprivation and physical endurance. Over 10,000 feet of ascent, over 600 miles, all in under 24 hours. This is the Three Peaks Challenge. Our journey begins in our hometown of Biggleswade. As we pack the car ready for the 480 mile journey up to our starting point in Fort William, all the equipment must be checked and double checked for any faults that may hinder our progress over the course of the challenge. The motorway journey passes without a hitch and after 10 hours of solid driving, we arrive at our hotel. Right, everything's packed and I'm in bed. It's about nine o'clock in the evening and I'm absolutely knackered, so uh, I'm gonna get some sleep. We're gonna be up early tomorrow, about half seven, eight, get the kit ready in the car and then uh, straight to the car park and uh, we should be starting about 10 o'clock, so uh, I should see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning. That was probably one of the uh, worst night's sleep I've ever had. <laughs> I, uh, it's nothing to do with the bed, not being comfortable. I just think I'm a bit, a bit anxious to get going this morning. Um, I'm up before the alarm went off. It's now half seven in the morning and uh, I'm feeling pretty rough, to be honest. But uh, I think I'll be all right once I get up and move and once I've had a shower and have some breakfast and stuff, that's going to wake me up a bit. But. Uh, it's looking a bit, a bit misty out in the valley this morning. Um, not quite the uh, alpine morning we were hoping for, but as is the way with Scotland, that mist will probably burn off as the sun gets up and as the temperature warms up, and uh, hopefully we'll be in for a nice day. But at the minute, it's looking pretty, uh, pretty grim out there, to be honest. But um, so what I'm going to do now? I'm going to get up. I'm going to get some breakfast and then I'm going to get all the gear ready, get it in the car and then we'll get down to the car park and uh, get ready to go. I'll see you in a bit. After months of training, the time had finally arrived. As we enter the Ben Nevis Visitor Centre, we begin to wonder, were we ready to take on the task ahead or would all our efforts be wasted? Only time would tell.
Okay, so we're, uh, we're on our way now, um, we're just leaving the car park. The actual challenge doesn't start until we reach a small gate, about 150 yards from here. So uh, when we get there, we're going to radio in, and uh, that'll be our start time. And then the challenge begins. 